Okay, we're going to continue talking about SIP protocol. We're going to be talking about making phone calls from computer to computer or to mobile device. And today we're going to be looking at on a mobile device, on an Android device. Now, uh, there's a lot more details on all of this. We're going to look at the basics of just setting up again, like we did in the last video, communicating from one device directly to another without a server. And I'm going to bring up some uh, issues that I came across while trying to do that on an Android device. In fact, the first time I did it on an Android device, it just kind of worked. But when I went to um, do this video, I started having issues. I couldn't call the phone from my computer, even though I had done it before. Well, I figured out what was wrong. I figured out, I changed those settings, and uh, I don't remember doing that the first time around, but I want to show you those here, and also uh, other issues you might come across. So let's go ahead and have a look at the phone, look at the application. Again, this is Linphone, the application. Linphone also has a service that you can sign up to for free, where you can then use their servers to communicate with all your devices. We're not looking at the service today. We're gonna to be looking at, again, Linphone on an Android device communicating directly to another Linphone device or desktop PC. You are greeted with a welcome screen, the assistant that's to, supposed to help you get everything set up. You can agree to their terms and conditions. You have create an account, that's for uh, Linphone creating an account through their servers. If you already have an account, you can use a Linphone account. If you have a server set up, you can use your account. Let me focus that there. And uh, you can also, I guess, fetch remote configuration if you already have configuration steps somewhere. I don't want to do any of these things. I just want to start the application like I did on my desktop and connect to another device. And it took me a little while to figure this out, but there's an arrow right here, whoop, up here at the top. You click that and it brings you into the application. So yeah, pretty simple. Once you realize that arrow's there, it would be nice if there was an option in the menu that said continue to application. Uh, but yeah, that back arrow just brings you into the application. If you're not gonna set up a configuration with a server of some sort, just hit that back arrow and you're all set to go. So one of the first things you might wanna set up so that you can call your phone is a username. Now, if we hit our little hamburger menu here and we go to settings, you can see by default it says Linphone Android. Let's go ahead and give this device a name. This is my old Nexus phone, so I'll just give it the username of Nexus. Okay, I changed the display name and the username. I clicked the little checkbox, but at this point on my desktop, if I try to call the phone, it still won't go through. And it took me a little while to figure this out, because again, I've done this before and I had no issues before. But if we come down to the network options under settings, uh, you'll see here that by default, it has use random ports. Now, Android might restrict you from using the default port of 5060. Uh, so, but you need to know what port it is. If you're not using a server, you have to know what port Linphone is running on. So let's go ahead and uncheck use random. You can try using it, leaving it as 60, uh, 5060, um, but that didn't work for me. So I'm just gonna change it to 5065. I'm gonna click the check mark here, and I'm gonna back out. And throughout this, it's also going to be asking you for permissions because it's an Android and it's got a bunch of stupid permissions that's going to ask you for all these different things that of course you want it to do. So let's go ahead and click allow on this. But like all applications, what we probably want to do just to be sure is go into our settings and we'll go to applications. Linphone, and I will go to permissions and look over them and check all the ones I want it to have. Of course, this is up to you on what permissions you want it to have. See if there's any advanced permissions. It has picture in picture that's already allowed. Uh, so I think we're good now. We can go back into Linphone and let's try calling our device from our desktop now. So in Linphone on my desktop, I go ahead and write the username at the IP address. In this case, we're going to give it a port with colon, in this case, 5065. And it rings just like any other phone call. And of course I can hit hang up or answer. And now I'm in a conversation with my desktop. Now let's make a phone call from our phone to our desktop. So just like I did on my desktop, I'm gonna type in the username of my desktop, which I use Metal X1000 on there, at the IP address, colon, and the port number. I shouldn't have to put the port number because I'm using the default 5060, but it doesn't hurt to put that in there. So let's go ahead and make this phone call. And you can see I'm getting the notification and there's sound playing, but it's playing through my headphones so you don't hear it. So it's ringing there, it's ringing on my phone. <laughs> Hello, and we'll go ahead and hang up. Now, you don't have to type that stuff every time, just like any other phone call, you can add them to the contacts, and there's also a history option, so I can click on history there, and it shows the calls that I've made, and I can click on that, and now it's calling my desktop again. 
So I just wanted to share that with you. Pretty easy setup once you know uh, some of the issues. Again, uh, when you get to that a welcome screen, if you're not going to use a server, just hit that back arrow. You can always go into that uh, setup again later on. Under the menus, there's an assistant option that we'll look at in a future video when we're setting up servers. Uh, but the big thing was setting up a port and changing your username so you know what's to connect to. And again, once you save those to your contacts, you can dial it by going to contacts or your history. Uh, also, again, Android. You're going to have all those permissions you got to give it. You can wait for it to ask, or you can just go and give it all the permissions that it needs, whether you want to be able to access your camera, if you're going to do video, if you're going to share files, you're going to want to be able to access your, your files, all that sort of stuff that if you don't trust this application, don't install it on your device in the first place. So again, the whole concept of those app-specific permissions, I personally think is completely useless. Uh, and I, every time I say that, I get comments in the description or comments in the video below below the video. Uh, so yeah, if you think that app-specific permissions are a good thing, go ahead and tell me below and I'll know that you think that. Because <laughs> it's just ridiculous. If you don't trust an application, don't install it on your device. That's what it comes down to. Now, I thank you for watching. Again, we will go more into uh, setting up and using Linphone, uh, either setting up an account with Linphone so you can communicate through their servers, uh, and then we will look at a very, very basic setup of setting up your own server, which can do so many different things, uh, but we're going to look at the very basics, gracefully creating accounts with passwords and uh, using that server so you can dial extensions on that server. So, thanks for watching. Films by Chris.com. That's Chris with a K. Thanks for watching, and I hope that you have a great day.